I tell you, Mr. President, and all your friends, you are in trouble, be afraid. I assure you, I will not leave Ukraine, and I will not leave until I have sold all of you. There is the Russian flag from the crisis, and that's all, and people are happy here. Petro Dmitrovic, I inform you that you are under arrest for the act of disarmament of the Russian Federation against Ukraine. Greetings, brothers and sisters, this is Biggest Info. I am Vlad, and today we will talk about a great business from the world of religion other self-propelled wheelbarrows and houses, and the most unwise, hidden from the eyes of the human, but not the Lord business. In the meantime, check if you are subscribed to our channel. I swear, there we know a lot of interesting things. And now let's go. For a start, a little background. 61-year-old Metropolitan of Vyharad and Chornobyl, a vicar of Kiev Metropolis, a permanent member of the Synod of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church of the Moscow Patriarchate, and the already former deputy of the Kuspensky Kiev Pekars Lavra Metropolitan Pavlo Petro Dmitrovic Levit is in peace, Pasha Mercedes is in the people. In the office of the mayor of Lavra, he spent almost 30 years, during which he remembered a crazy number of scandals. Yes, I am the initiator of the eviction of the infectious disease hospital from here. Would you like there to be a bar in your entrance near your apartment? I do not like the fact that person lives with me who was walking, got all the and that someone rewarded me here walking on the territory. This is a representative of the clergy talking about people who underwent treatment in an infectious clinic, the room of which was located on the territory of Lavrov. The priest, as you understand, did not have such a neighborhood, so in 2012 to 2013, he initiated the eviction of the facility. It lasted several months. According to the representative of the all-Ukrainian network of people who live in the village of Andriy and Rufkiv, Petro Levit was accused of the absence of stationary treatment of patients. It cost five people their lives, and the most disgusting thing in this is that at the same time, the Metropolitan entered the Commission on Health and Social Protection Issues as a deputy of the Kyiv Council from Party of Regions. Petro Levit was loved to bully and threaten journalists. You came as a bomb. You are like bandits. You are just, you know, a nuisance that the witnesses do not see. You are a mentally ill person. I will now take a baton and beat all your photographers. During the Revolution of Dignity, he supported the actions of the police. Well, as for the protesters, he issued the following. Why do we say children on the Maidan? Why children on the Maidan? If you are a student, learn. If you are a son, be parents. Why did the children go there? How much do these children pay? After the occupation of Crimea by Russia and the beginning of the Russian-Ukrainian war in 2014, Metropolitan Pavlo did not take the side of Ukraine clearly. His most frank position is demonstrated by these words. Do you know the story that Crimea has never been Ukrainian? Well, he made a contribution to increasing the mortality of Ukrainians in the period of the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic, using his authority among the believers. Do not look at the older generation, the younger generation. All hurry to the temple. Well, you can count the fuck-ups of this character for a long time, and boringly, everyone already understood everything. But we are not about that today. Let's start with the cars. Metropolitan Pavlo was called a Mercedes because he loves Mercedes. He had a lot of them at different times. The earliest we managed to find is this S320 of 1998. In 2013, he said the following about him, I have a 1998 Mercedes, the year of release which is used by everyone around me. I always give this car to the students of our spiritual schools for a wedding. Sometimes I go out and am surprised. The car numbers say, for example, Sasha plus Yulia, I do not mind. Also, the Metropolitan was a 500 G Lick of 1999. S500 Mercedes of 2004, S550 of 2007, crossover 450 of 2008. At some point, a Japanese man found himself in the garage of the Metropolitan, an off-road Lexus Volks 570 of 2009. At the anniversary in 2011, another new 500 Mercedes was given to him, as if a gift from the ex Van Nevitsky. They gave it to me, I'm going. Then it cost more than $100,000.
Well, Petrolevic began to demonstrate his rather specific perception of reality. The fact that a Mercedes worth over a million is a luxury, the priest does not want to believe. What is luxury? This is before transport, and what no one else is to blame in your opinion. On the next birthday in 2012, Pavlo was given another Lexus sedan, but he did not survive it. In 2015, he appeared on the newly designed 500 Mercedes of 2013 when the patrols tried to tell him about the violation of the traffic rules. But instead, your driver has violated today. Nothing, thank God. Let's go. Despite the company numbers with a combination of 304, the car did not belong to him. And Katerina Krenitska, who, judging from the social network at that time, was engaged in the production of cakes. But the problems of the Metropolitan with the perception of reality intensified. The old car, it fell apart, and one person wanted to sell it. I said, listen, let me sell this car. Yeah, it's just washed out. Mercedes is, of course, not Toyota Camry 3.5, but it will not fall apart in two years. Since 2016, the Metropolitan has officially belonged to the Mercedes-Benz Gull 3 million the price of which was approximately $53,000. And since January 2022, here is this Mercedes-Benz B220 minibus, which costs $88,000. Lately, it has been noticed on the long-term 400 Mercedes Mercedes, which was newly designed in 2018. Such a saloon costs $135,000, but it does not belong to the Metropolitan. We will find its real owner a little later. And now let's move on to real estate. In the apartment of this Kiev multi-story building in the Darnitsky district, was registered for the last quarter of the century Petro Lebed. But in fact, he lived of course not here. And we will show where he really lived. A small house, I sold it, but no one bought it. I gave away everything, everything I had. I gave away the bed, the washing machines, the refrigerator. They stole it, took away four icons. This is how the Metropolitan describes the place of his two-month home arrest. Well, we are now going to Varanki, which is 40 kilometers from Kiev, to show what this small house really looks like. This is a small house. Youth 46. Well, it's probably Youth 46. Unfortunately, there is no sign. This is a small, in the opinion of the Metropolitan, house. A small house. For a churchman, a small house is a two-story house with the area of 580 square meters. It is built on a plot with area of 40 acres. On the bottom is another two-story guest house with the area of 170 square meters. The altar and the house of the guard. Obviously, in the latter, they surrounded our high-spirited martyr. In 2016, this mansion was put up for sale for $1,300. It was stated in the announcement that the house is completely furnished with products of Italian and English masters. The rooms are decorated with expensive materials. Stop, what are the initials of Metropolitan on the walls? The floor is covered with marble German parquet and has a heater. Clean chandel is household appliances from a rather expensive manufacturer, Smith. In the description, it was stated that the house is very warm and cozy. There is practically nothing to sleep on. There is no warm light, but there are clearly chimneys. And there are high-spirited Orthodox birches. This was probably a profitable investment when he was investing, because they will definitely be enough for two months of home arrest to burn the building. A little later, the guardian of the Metropolitan's mansion made a statement to the Pasha of Mercedes about the lack of light. You say there is light, but for how long? Well, it was regulated, it was turned off, you know, it was given after an hour, then after that, then one, then the second, then the third, it's all. Well, it was the same for everyone, so I don't know. His patriarchate in Moscow probably needs to be thanked. Another house of Petro Lebed. This is the heart of the Pekers district. According to the media, this 546 
house with two floors and a mansard, has its own Turkish bath, sauna, pool, movie theater, and even a separate elevator. It's hard to evaluate the mansion, but not far away. They sold the house after the builders for $515,000. Well, knowing the taste, or rather its absence of the metropolitan, I assume that the approximate cost of the house, with the calculation of the Pekers Empire, is quite more than a million dollars. The house is located in a plot which at the end of the 90s and zeros, the churchman simply took from a person whose family has lived here since the beginning of the 20th century. And let's go back to Varaghi. Here Pavlo has a whole property complex with warehouses, warehouses, power pits in his possession. Yes, in addition to this, the Metropolitan owns it. For a start, let's ask the locals. God's ways are indescribable. The path of a journalist investigator is not paved. Excuse me, can you tell me something? What do you want? Do you know where the village farm of Mr. Petrolibet is? Well, back, if it was, if it became... Here. Yes, back. And there, it seems, is the company, Labrid. Well, there is no such thing. It was... I'll tell you now. How? If they renamed it, and where it was... The land under the warehouses belongs to the village council. But the Metropolitan also rents it a little more than six hectares and gives them to the sub-rent to a man named Alexander Mapinko. Such a cunning work of the Metropolitan. And in Alexander Mapinko there is a company flag road. In fact, its registration is the address of the Petrolebed property complex. And here is an interesting detail. It is on Alexander Mapinko that the 400th Mercedes is registered, which is currently being driven by Pashko. On the one hand, one can assume that Alexander Mapinko is a very generous businessman. He decided to share his own Mercedes with the Metropolitan, not to be the nominal owner of the Metropolitan, and he also decided to rent land under his own agro-business to the Metropolitan, which well happened that way. In between prayers, he somehow accidentally registered the rent of six hectares and the property complex. Of course, you can assume that everything is just like that. Well, or you can read the name of the business registered to Alexander Mapinko and seen Flagro there. Interestingly, L is not the Metropolitan Petro. Well, or Pavlo Levit at times. Uh, well, obviously not a small infantry shovel. By the way, Flagro is not limited to six hectares and has more than 500 land plots in Kiev and Chernihiv regions. In total, is more than 1,100 hectares. According to the information on Flagro website, the company manufactures 12,000 hectares of land. It grows corn, sunflower, soy, buckwheat, wheat, Right and right. It has 800 hay cows, breeds chickens, pigs, and so on. In short, a powerful business. Whether in Mr. Mapinko or in Metropolitan Pavlo, at least the name of the business and the participation of the Metropolitan in it is very hinting at this. Well, over the years of his activity, Metropolitan Pavlo managed to work hard against Ukraine and earn enough wealth on his position. I hope that he will receive a decent punishment, not only from God, but also from Ukrainian. We hope that Pavlo will reduce the number of viewers after the broadcast. And while I invite you to support this video with likes and shares, so you too will understand that it is interesting for more people to watch it. And if you want to support our work, press sponsor or subscribe to our Patreon. The link is under this video. Thank you for watching.